for units of area and specifically units of volume, these are the most common conversion factors. In the description box below, these are also included. The main one that you have to know is one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter. All right, let's jump right into our first example of units of area. Convert 1.915 feet squared to inches squared. Always start with finding your given conversion factor and what you're finding. Your given is 1.915 feet squared. The conversion factor is one foot is equal to 12 inches and you're finding inches squared. The proper setup is with putting your given first. We'll have that 1.915 feet squared, aligning the feet across from each other so they can cancel. And on top, we'll place the 12 inches since inches is what you're solving for. Note that you cannot just cancel out your feet because this one is not squared. So instead, what you have to do is actually square the entire conversion factor. When we square this entire conversion factor, you're not only squaring the units, however, you are also squaring the number itself. So that will be 12 squared in our next problem. This is the correct setup. Now having the 144 inches squared or 12 squared, we now have our feet squared that will cancel out. So feet squared cancels out, we're left with those units of inches squared, multiply straight across, and you're left with 275.76 inches squared, not done yet. You need to round up because your given was four sig figs. So our final answer has four sig figs, 275.8 inches squared. Example two, units of volume. Convert 5.0 millimeters cubed to centimeters cubed. Always starting with your given conversion factors and what you're finding. Our given is 5.0 millimeters cubed. We have two conversion factors. The reason for two conversion factors is we're going from millimeters to centimeters, but really we're going millimeters to meters, then to centimeters. So our first conversion factor is one millimeter equals 10 to the negative third meters. And our next one is 10 to the negative second meters is equal to one centimeter. We are finding cubic centimeters. Your setup is starting with your given, the 5.0 millimeters cubed. We place the millimeters across from one another. We have the one with the different unit, that mil millimeters. Next, our base unit on top, the meters, 10 to the negative third. Notice that we cannot cancel these. So you need to cube the entire conversion factor. When you cube this, properties of exponent states that you are actually multiplying that negative three with this three. So any sort of exponent that is being raised by another exponent, you multiply the numbers together. Next, this would make it meters cubed and millimeters cubed. We wanna go ahead and also cube the second conversion factor so they can cancel out the meters cubed. Once again, we'll go ahead and multiply these two numbers so that would have been a negative six power. After multiplying the negative three times the three, we'll now have an exponent of negative nine. The millimeters cubed and millimeters cubed units will then cancel. Next, after multiplying the negative two times that three, our negative six is formed, that's our new exponent, and our meters cubed cancel. We are then left with our desired unit, which is centimeters cubed. Multiply straight across and divide by 10 to the negative six power. And our answer is 5.0 times 10 to the negative third cubic centimeters. For this next example, there are multiple conversion factors. Convert 71.63 grams over centimeters cubed to milligrams over decimeters cubed. Notice that we're trying to go from grams to milligrams on the top, and on the bottom we're going from centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed. Instead of putting one long conversion, what we're gonna go ahead and do is split it into two. Starting with the first part, just focusing on converting our grams to milligrams. Starting with your given of 71.63 grams over centimeters cubed, placing the grams across from each other so they can cancel, our grams as our base unit will have that 10 to the third power and one milligram. Your units would then be 
milligrams over centimeters cubed. That's okay for now, we at least got the milligrams. Next step is going from centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed. For the second part, there are multiple conversion factors. We'll start with the centimeters cubed and make our way to milliliters using our first conversion factor that one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. Next, we'll go to milliliters, then to liters using the metric system, where our 10 to the negative third goes with our base unit of liters is equal to one milliliter. And lastly, our next conversion factor is going from one liter to one decimeter cubed. Continuing on with what we just found in our first step, we'll place that here. Next, we want to go ahead and cancel out the centimeters cubed. I know that it, you're used to it typically being across this way. However, as long as they're across from each other, they're still going to cancel out. So our centimeters cubed would then cancel each other out. We now have milliliters on the bottom. We want to cancel those out, so we'll place our second conversion factor there. Milliliters cancel. We now have liters on the bottom, but we want decimeters cubed on the bottom. So we'll continue to cancel out liters, and we're left with milligrams over decimeters cubed. Multiply straight across and divide by that 10 to the negative third, and you get your final answer. Practice, practice, practice. Try these out. Okay, if not, check out the description box below. There's a link with practice problems and step-by-step -step answers. Make sure you like this video if you learned something, and subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this one. And remember, I am here to help you pass chemistry. So leave a comment below letting me know what you need help with, and I will see you next time.